Aircraft orders of any size are always a welcome sight, but when they can be over 100 total units and for wide body aircraft only, well, the alarm bells actually start ringing. But positively, and for aircraft manufacturers, the gold mine commences with the opportunity to secure a sizable contract. My new channel, Globetrotting, is closing in on 8,000 subscribers and there's plenty of aviation analysis. I'd love it if you went over there and took a look. Now, however, that all important order, well, it involves US-based United Airlines, who according to the latest reports from Bloomberg, are seeking the purchase of over 100 new wide-body aircraft, evaluating both the 787 and A350 at Boeing and Airbus respectively. This is a significant contract for either Airbus or Boeing, being a deal that would be worth in the billions once confirmed, and one of the largest to date at the one time. It's also part of United Airlines' goal to become more streamlined, remove existing planes, and have an efficient fleet portfolio to take it forward. Again, a very common theme we've seen with the big three in the US. Yes, the pandemic certainly came hitting hard. It left no prisoners and saw entire networks be slammed shut. But what it was was also an opportunity to revisit the retirement plans for the airlines that had more dated, tired, and less fuel-efficient fleets, which just so happened to be so many of our major three US-based carriers. It meant that they were able to remove some existing planes and move forward with a more streamlined operation. Now, as demand resurges and we reach pre-pandemic levels, even in some markets exceeding that, airlines are plotting what will be the next critical decision to take them further forward. For United Airlines, that comes in the realm of aircraft orders, and for wide-body units especially. Reporting on this new wide-body order is certainly not fresh, with Airliner Weekly and others noting that United were interested in such an order many months back. However, ultimately the carrier has seemingly firmed up its interest, and we've been given an idea on the amount of total units that will be in the contract. At the moment, it's worth noting that United Airlines operates an all-Boeing fleet for its wide-body planes, from the 767s to the 787s and even to the 777s. So, the prime candidate for replacing are their 767s and 777s, which are aging drastically, over 20 years or rapidly approaching an average age of 20 for the pair respectively. Where United goes remains to be seen, but we should have a decision, according to those industry sources, by the end of the year. I'll be exploring their options more in depth in a video on Globetrotting coming out very soon, so make sure to head over there and subscribe so you don't miss the content. In the meantime, it's over to you. What aircraft do you believe the airline should opt for, the 787 or the Airbus A380? To Jester, the Flash Cuban, got to cast with B, Daniel Elliott, Leslie Austin 9, Will Jaden, Al Waleed, Neil Don, and Jam. Thanks for being cabin crew members. Your support really does mean a lot. And to every single one of you that does also tune into each and every video published, it really means the world that you take the time out of your day to watch the content here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.